The benefits of the simulator, I think, are potentially huge. My background, apart from colposcopy, is medical education, and the role of simulation in medical education is well established. But the benefits are really with top quality simulation. The better the simulator, the better the result. And the product that's been developed looks terrific. It is usable, it is accurate, and potentially, therefore, it gives the novice colposcopist or the colposcopist whose training needs to be assessed, a huge advantage because they're working uh, with a tool that can be a real practical benefit without the risks or the potential difficulties of working with a real patient. It allows uh, the development of the manual dexterity and also the baseline diagnostic abilities so that you can develop those on a simulator when you then come to approach a real patient. Firstly, the patient gets a much better experience, but as a novice colposcopist or a trainee colposcopist, your training itself becomes better. You have more confidence in what you're doing, but you do it much more effectively. You're already one step up the learning ladder. You've done the basic skills. You are now in a position, in a real life situation, to employ them much more effectively so that your learning is more effective and the service that you give your patient will be better. At Bradford, we place a huge premium on simulation. There's a very high level simulation lab, and this is certainly something that I want to see in the lab and not just for our trainee colposcopists but I think for all our trainees to actually see what colposcopy is even if they don't do colposcopy themselves to be able to see what's involved so that when they refer their patients and counsel their patients they have a real idea of what they're delivering and I think that what's been developed is of a standard that um, would allow that and it's something that I would like to see my trust have up and running uh, very soon.